how sad it is. I shall grow old, but this picture will remain always young. My hair will turn gray, my skin will wrinkle, my teeth will rot. While my picture remains exactly as it is now. If only it were the other way. Claudia, if it were I who would remain always young, and the picture would grow old. For that, I would give everything. Claudia. Yes, everything. For that, I would even give my soul. To long life. An impressive painting, don't you think? The single portrait of my brother Dorian. I'm Leslie, Leslie Gray. You know, in many respects, this is the only real proof that my brother ever existed. My brother died on his wedding night in circumstances strange and mysterious. Horrific. That was the watchword used in the London Times. It fell to his new wife, Beatrice, to discover what was little more than liquid putrescence. You see, she'd woken up during the night and found herself alone, and there were these terrible cries emanating from the attic. What she discovered there so shocked her that she was literally struck dumb. The fact is, she has never recovered the power of speech. But then, everything about my late brother was eminently, no, deeply disturbing. While settling his estate, I heard many a dark rumour. How could his personality have changed so much over the years? How could a fine man, outwardly so, so charming and affable, have inspired so much hatred and fear in so many people. Of course, living here in Australia all these years, I haven't seen my brother since his 21st birthday. So, how was I to know? Mind you, people are so easily changed, don't you think? I brought the picture home to hang my study here in Melbourne, but it, it looks so perfect here in the stairwell. It's been in situ now for six months. Just been for a walk in the park. What a marvellous day. Quite exhilarating. You know, I feel so full of life. My friends tell me it's as if I've shed 20 years. It's strangely wonderful. 
And possibly it's the climate here. Who knows? Emily and Geoffrey are perplexed. They're jealous in a way. They feel they're losing their good looks while somehow I retain so much of mine. They literally crave my formula. But there is no formula. <laughs> Would you like to see my soul? I'm sorry? Hello? His brain was so loaded. What's that? The poor girl would shake with the more. You know, sometimes the oddest sensations. It's as if there's a presence on the staircase. Yes, it's always on the staircase. I've made a rather shocking discovery about myself. You see, I chanced on a book by an eminent physician named Hieronymus Sinjin, based on a medieval document entitled Demons of the Womb. This arcane volume confirmed my suspicions. I appear to be prey to a somewhat surreal regenerative disease. Somehow, for reasons no one can exactly tell, my body is becoming younger each day. I'm over a hundred years old now, yet I have the body of a man of thirty-five. My doctor suggests that in a few short years my body tissue could return to that of a man in his twenties, the same age as my brother Dorian was when he had this portrait painted. The portrait is all I have for company these days. I haven't been outdoors for years now. You see, people would stop and stare at me as if I was some kind of a monster, created by some Frankenstein. But should I fear the future? I think not. A disease, possibly. But I can think of no sweeter way to die. How could I end my life when I can return to the pleasures of my youth. No, I shall enjoy each day this illness grants me. How strange it is. I shall grow young while this picture remains exactly as it is now. How young I feel. How young I look. Once again, I may touch the flame of experience and not burn. Dear friends, everything has its price. For now I know the bittersweet death that awaits me. I become a helpless infant and soon shall experience, with full cognizance, the plight of a putrid cell, the rising sperm from which my life began. Those who fear the plight of age, would you change with me now? Oh, my death has come.